Bath salts have been dubbed fake cocaine. Incense and spice are a type of synthetic marijuana. They're legally sold on the internet and at many head shops and smoke shops, but now two bills in the state legislature are aiming at taking those drugs off of store shelves. Spice, K2, herbal incense. It's legal, it's easy to get. You just need someone 18 to go to any smoke shop and get it. The drug mimics the effects of marijuana. Like, I've tried it. We have about 70% of the young people who come through our doors in the last year who've used it. A lot of people do it like when they're on probation, can like can't smoke weed or anything like that, so they turn to spice. Teens like Darren Morgan, who's now in a drug recovery program. I have tried it and I was doing it because I didn't have any marijuana. I know quite a few people that are using it, but that's because they're on probation and they get tested and they don't want to come up dirty for marijuana. Then there's bath salts, a synthetic stimulant. The effects of snorting it is very similar to cocaine or crystal meth. It can lead to extreme paranoia, delusion, hallucinations. Many states have banned it, but it's legal in California. Some of the chemicals and in incense have been banned, but manufacturers switched up the formula and kept selling the drugs. I'm looking to see if you carry herbal incense. We called around to a couple of shops in the Sacramento area, checking to see if they carried bath salts and incense. A few shops said yes, come on in. Some said no to the bath salts. A handful said they definitely carried incense. You can legally pick up herbal incense in smoke shops and businesses like the one behind me. Many of the kids who try the synthetic stimulant say it's popular among teens now because they can go undetected by standard drug tests. Nevertheless, the drugs have been linked to overdoses and violent incidents. Uh, bath salts are really bad for you and then you can just like mess you up really bad. We've had three cases of young people coming in in the last six months on bath salts. I've had a couple friends overdose on them. And that's why California lawmakers drafted two bills that would outlaw the sale of spice and bath salts. SB 420 would make it a misdemeanor to sell or distribute herbal incense, spice, or synthetic cannabinoids. AB 486 would make it a misdemeanor to sell or distribute bath salts or synthetic stimulants. Now both bills are sitting on the governor's desk. They have yet to be signed into law or vetoed.